Hey, this is Heather from Compared to Who, and you're watching day four of the Spring Break Free. Today, I just want to tell you a little bit about my story, why I talk about this, why I write about this body image stuff. I mean, it's totally embarrassing uh, for the most part. So why would anyone choose to make this the focus of their writing and speaking? Um, that's what I want to share with you today. My story started like so many other stories do. I was in elementary school and I remember having those first thoughts that my legs were too big. My mom had bought me this pair of pink pleather pants. I had begged her for them. Some of y'all don't know what pleather is. Um, it was popular in the 80s. I think they call it vegan leather now, maybe. But anyway, it's fake leather and it's very hot. And I don't mean stylish. I mean it's hot because it doesn't breathe at all. Um, but I had this pair of pink leather pants and I looked at myself in the mirror and there was a young girl looking in the mirror and staring at my thighs thinking, you know what, my legs are too big. And so I did what most girls um, and many women do. Uh, the next day as I went to school, I looked around and I compared the size of my legs to the size of the legs of the other girls in my class. And you know what I discovered? My legs were a little bigger. And what that triggered for me over the next years and, and even decades was a, a, a battle against genetics and, um, and a battle against my body image. When I got to junior high school, I started dieting. I was using Slim Pass by the time I was 12 or 13 and that was a popular dieting method then. By the time I got to high school, I was doing this uh, form of dieting that uh, you would call uh, seeing how long I could go without eating and then eating everything in sight because I was ravenously hungry. Um, I could make it through all day at school and um, just be too busy to eat and feel like I was doing good and was going to be getting thinner that way. And then I'd get home and I'd, I'd binge because I was just hungry. Um, by the time I got to college, I was uh, still struggling. I had one goal before I went away to college and that was to be as thin as possible because I was more afraid of gaining that freshman 15 than I was of meeting friends or college work being too hard. I mean, that freshman 15, that's what I was concerned about. And so I got to college um, and instead of just gaining 15, I gained 20 pounds that first semester. And what that started for me was a cycle of going away to college and then coming home on breaks and uh, trying to lose the weight and oftentimes fasting to see if I could... Um, lose the weight faster that way. But then my sophomore year of college, I'd lost my period because my eating habits were so whacked out. Um, I tried to dabble in exercise a little bit, but I wasn't very good at it. Um, so most of what I did to control my weight was done through dieting. And in my heart, in my head, I was miserable. I was always thinking about how I could make my body look different. I was consumed with um, thoughts that I was fat, and I was constantly worried that other people thought this about me too. Um, and it was a struggle, and that's where my struggle began. I was young, and there's so many other women out there. I know maybe even you're watching this, and, and your struggle started when you were young too, and now you're like, I am decades away from that. And you're wondering, can I ever be free from this? It's been this way for so long. Will things ever be different? And today I want to tell you that I am different and I'm going to share the rest of my story over the next couple of days on the spring break free. But just know today that there is hope for you, that you can feel differently about your body and you can find freedom. So I hope you'll stick with me. Uh, if you missed one, you can catch up on compared to who.me and I hope you'll follow this blog compared to who.me and just go to the webpage and click follow. You can take a body image awareness quiz there. Um, become a part of what we're doing here because there's a lot of women that struggle and I want us to become a community so we can fight this thing together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.